mass extinction, entire branches on the tree of life are dying, according to what scientists are warning us of, like the comet striking the dinosaurs in slower motion but just as deadly, human activity is hacking off entire branches from the tree of life, a new study confirms, is changing the trajectory of evolution globally and destroying the conditions that make human life possible, ecologists warn in their new paper. It's as irreversible threat, it is an irreversible threat to the presence of civilization and the livability of future environments for Homo sapiens. Over the past few months, the sixth mass extinction has become devastatingly visible. We've witnessed mass seabird deaths, shores have been littered with droves of dead fish, and sea lions poisoned by heat-induced algal blooms. Last year, entire populations of penguins failed to breed, and for years now, researchers have been investigating an alarming reduction in insect life. So ecologist Gerardo Ceballos from the National Autonomous University of Mexico and Stanford University conservation biologist Paul Ehrlich assessed species extinction since 1500 and AD, of course, and compared those through the past 500 million years they found we've driven 73 genera of back-boned animals to extinction, extinction during the last 500 years. Genus is the taxonomic classification just above species, grouping together the most closely related organisms, such as siblings in a family tree. This rate is 35 times higher than previous genus-level extinctions. Without human influence, it would have taken 18,000 years for the same number of gena, genera to have met their end, 18,000 years. Other studies have also found similarly high extinction rates for plant, fungi, and invertebrate life as well. The sixth mass extinction is causing rapid mutilation of the tree of life, where entire branches, collections of species, genera, families, and so on, and the functions they perform are being lost, the researchers explain. The biosphere we live within is extremely interconnected, so loss of species groups that play particular functions within their interconnected living web can have severe cascading consequences. And we, uh, we and all other species have evolved together thriving within a stable tree of life, Sibalis and Ehrlich say, so the loss of the entire ecological functions performed by groups of species directly impacts us as well. For example, the loss of mosquito-devouring frogs has occurred alongside increasing malaria infections in Central America. And what's more, this rate of genera loss is set to increase, Sibelius and Ehrlich calculate. If you, we, we continue on our current trajectory, and all current endangered genera are snuffed from existence by the year 2100, the equivalent 300-year loss since 1800 would have taken 106,000 years at normal background levels of extinction. The most vulnerable species are usually the most unique, yet overlooked on the planet. Along with them, we'll lose millions of years of evolutionary history, which can never be repeated, as well as the loss of critical functions they perform that help keep all the surrounding biological cycles chugging on like we a well-oiled machine. It requires millions of years of evolution to generate functional replacements for the existing organisms, Sibalis and Ehrlich note. Climate change alone is creating a massive destabilization across these systems, scattering critical timing of ecosystem services like pollination reducing the types of species and allowing new ones to invade more easily. Another new study has documented these exact processes in an Arizonian dryland stream between 1985 and 2019. Our study provides evidence of climate change induced modifications of mechanisms underpinning long-term community stability, resulting in an overall destabilizing effect, Juna Wang and team wrote. Yet the sixth mass extinction is far bigger than the massive cluster catastrophe of climate change alone. From plastics to pesticides, habitat loss and poaching were not allowing the life around us to catch a break. 
immediate political, economic, and social efforts of an unprecedented scale are essential if we're to prevent these extinctions and their social impacts, societal impacts. Unlike the comet that eliminated non-avian dinosaurs, we're conscious of our actions and we do have the ability to change course. What happens in the next two decades will very likely define the future of biodiversity and Homo sapiens, the team concludes. The research was published, published in PNAS, and this is on Science Alert by Tessa Kumaduros. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.